Here are the video solutions for NCFE Functional Skills Maths Level 1. This is section A, which is the non-calculator section of the February 2020 paper. So let's make a start. Let's take a look at question number one. So Dennis thinks he's spending too much money on fuel for his car. And he's used, he uses this formula to work out how much fuel in litres he uses in a year. So the fuel used in litres is the distance travelled in miles multiplied by four and a half and then divided by the miles per gallon. So the distance travelled in miles is 10,000. So we need to multiply that by 4.5. So um, I don't know if it seems easier to turn it around. It's exactly the same thing, 4.5 times 10,000. Now, um, because this is a multiple of 10, um, we can just move the decimal point. And because there are four zeros, we're gonna move the decimal point four positions. Now, because we're gonna be making the number bigger, the decimal point is going to move to the right. Now, if we're moving it four places, it's not obvious where it's gonna end up. So. If I put in some zeros, then it will make life a lot easier for us. Um, I've added far too many zeros there, it doesn't matter. So one, two, three, four, and it's going to sit there. So that is four, five, zero, zero, point, zero, 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 and hopefully you can appreciate that those four zeros on the end aren't needed. 4.5 times 10,000 is four, five, zero, 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 so zero, 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 so 45,000. Okay, now we need to divide that by miles per gallon, so we're dividing that by 40. 45,000 divided by 40, that is exactly the same as 4,500 divided by 4. So now I can use the bus stop method. 4, 5, 0, 0. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 5 divided by 4 is 1 with a remainder of 1. 10 divided by 4 is 2 with a remainder of 2. 20 divided by 4 is 5. So the number of litres of fuel is 1,125. Part B. Uh, the average cost of petrol last year was £1.29 per litre. How much did it cost Dennis if he used 100 litres? So that is going to be £1.29. 29 multiplied by 100, so quite similar to something we did in part A. We're multiplying by a multiple of um, a 10, so we're going to be moving the decimal point two positions. So 1, 2 is going to come after the 9, so that'll be 129.0, in other words, 129 pounds. So for this question, we just need to um, calculate 4,000 pounds increased by 5%. So the first thing is, well, what is 5% of 4,000? So work out 10% first of all. 10% of 4,000 is 400 pounds. Remember, 10% is 1 tenth. So just divide this by 10, which is chopping off a zero. So if 10% is 400, then 5%, or 5% is half of 10%. So I just half the 400 which is 200. So um, instead of increasing by 5%, I'm just increasing by 200 pounds. 4,000 plus 200 is 4,200 pounds. Part D. Now the key thing here is remembering that 25% is one quarter. You could work out 10% and then work out 5% and if you know 10% you can double it to get 20% and then add a 20% and a 5% but that seems a bit ridiculous when you can just divide it by 4. So what is 396 divided by 4? 3 divided by 4 can't be done so 0, move the 3 across. 39 divided by 4 is 9. 9 fours are 36 so that is a remainder of 3. 36 divided by 4 is 9 so uh, the answer is 99. Okay, so for part E, um, okay, so we've got some ranges for mileage here. So probably, well, let's just have a look. I was gonna start at zero, but since we seem to be going up in tens, I could do 40,000. Is there anything less than 40,000? No, there isn't. So it makes sense, instead of doing zero to just below 50,000, do 40,000 to, uh, so that's gonna be 49,999. Now, we just need to work out how many are in the 70s. Um, not many, there's one, there's another. Okay, so it looks like there is 
uh, there are four in total. Let's just double check that. Um, so the frequency, the sum of these numbers here should equal the number um, values here. So we've got four by five, so that is, there's 20 in total. So the frequency should needs to add up to 20. Eight plus two is 10, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, perfect. So we've not made a mistake. Okay, so here we need to draw a uh, frequency chart. Use the data from the completed table in 1E. So up the side, I'm going to have my, uh, my frequency, which goes up to a maximum of 8. And uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to have like a 40 to 49, a 50 to 59. So I'm going to do a bar chart. So if I'm going up to 8, um, I've realized that up here, I've, I counted before I recorded the video, there's 24. 24 divided by 8 is 3. So if every 3 is uh, a frequency of uh, an extra 1. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You don't have to um, do it the same way. You could just do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But to me, it seems a bit of a waste of, I try and maximize the space available. So um, this axis is gonna be labeled as the uh, frequency. Okay, so um, along the bottom, I've got one, two, three, I've got five bands, and the first one's 40 to 49. Um, so it doesn't really matter how many I, do really I'm gonna I'll do three so this is uh, 40 to 49 and these are thousands um, I would write the number full but I um, don't really have enough space uh, I'm gonna leave a gap of the same for the next band so this is going to be 50 to 59 thousand another gap of three one two three one two three so this is 60 to 69 thousand this is 70 to 79 thousand and was that 80 to 89 there was eighty to eighty nine thousand okay so the key thing here is I mean it doesn't really matter if you've done something slightly different to me but um, the key thing is to make sure that all your uh, the, all the bars of the bar chart are the same width and if you're putting a space between them make sure that they are the same as well okay so um, I've, I've, I just need to build these up at the moment I've just sort of started the bars a tiny bit just to get my measurements correct so um, it goes three and then three again so the first one goes up to three so here you should be using a pencil and a ruler so there, I've done my first two bars. Um, you don't have to shade them in if you don't want to. Uh, so three, then three, then it goes eight, four, two. So this next one, um, goes all the way to the top. So there's my eight. This one goes up to here, oops. And this one just goes up to two, which is this point here. Like I say, you will do it much more neatly than me if you can, um, you if you use a pencil and a ruler. So uh, there we go. We should probably actually label the bottom. I, I've just put some numbers. I've not said what it refers to. Uh, here we can see the title is mileage. So I'll just write here, mileage. Okay, so um, as I said, you the scale doesn't have to be the same that I've done it as long as uh, it's a scale that works and is consistent. Um, and I just prefer to make it as big as possible, use as much of the space that I've been given. Um, again, the bars are all the same width. They are all um, three across. And the gaps between are consistent as well. They are all three across. And that is the end of um, section A.